There you go. Perfect. So ladies and gentlemen, what in the case we have here is a equals 3x plus 3 and e equals 5x minus 15. Now, the one thing they do tell us is this is a rectangle, right? Now last class period, we talked about a lot of properties with parallelograms. There's a couple things that we knew that a rectangle was a parallelogram. But Nick, the main important thing that we need to make sure we take out of this is this says this is a rectangle. If it's a rectangle, then we know it's a parallelogram. What properties do we know of parallelograms? We know that a parallelogram has opposite sides that are parallel, right? Opposite sides that are congruent in measure. Opposite angles that are congruent. We know that the bi diagonals bisect each other. Um, and that's pretty much, I believe, off the top of my head, what we went over with, or else you could say consecutive angles are uh, supplementary as well. Um, but this is a rectangle. So there's something else that was special about rectangles. There's two other properties. Ashley, do you remember one property that we said about what was different from a rectangle and a parallelogram? Everything that I said, but there's two other things that we talked about. We wrote them down in our notes. You remember? It's OK if you don't. Josh, do you remember? What was one? What about the diagonals? They do, but they do that for a parallelogram. There's something else, though, about diagonals that is only specific to rectangles. They're equal. Exactly. So now I know that these two diagonals, since this is a rectangle, which they tell us, I know the diagonals are equal. And there's one more thing. Jacob, do you remember what about a rectangle? There's one more thing about the angles that we learned. It's like almost just like right in front, right? It's just like grab the little mushroom. So Jacob, did you hear? OK. What do you think? Something with close to 89 degrees. Exactly, right? So now we know all these are 90 degrees. All right, so I just wanted to go over that as a quick review for you. We don't have to use all those characteristics. In this case, it says a e equals 3x plus 3. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to label that, that side. Okay. Nick, you're going to have to find a different seat, man. EC, we label right here. 5x minus 15. Now, since this is a parallelogram, we know they bisect each other, right? We know that this diagonal bisects this one. So can I say that those two, those two are now equal to each other? Yes. And if I said they're equal to each other, can I now write an equation? Yes. Yay. So now I can say 3x plus 3 equals 5x minus 15. All right? And that's the whole purpose, guys. We need to be able to evaluate. If we're finding our distance of anything, we need to be able to find the measure. Or, I'm sorry. We need to find the value of our x. So now what I need to do is solve. And notice I have a variable on both sides. So I need to get the variable to the same side. So I'll subtract 3x on both sides by using the subtraction property of equality. Now I have 3 equals 2x minus 15. Now I have a two-step equation that I solve by adding 15 to both sides. And I have 18 equals 2x divided by 2 divided by 2, x equals 9. Okay? But that's not what the question is asking. And Mark, when you're taking a test, it's become very important that even when you do the problem, Nick, or you check your answer because you're writing it down in your homework, um, not only that you do it, but you make sure you follow through what exactly the um, question is asking. It's not asking for what is x. The question is asking, what is AC? Well, AC is from here to here, right? Well, notice if this distance is 3x plus 3 and this one is 5x minus 15, then I can add them up together. So 3x plus 3 plus 5x minus 15 equals AC. Would you guys agree? This distance plus this distance is that distance. Did you guys agree with that? OK. Now I can combine these, combine those. So I have 8x um, minus 12 equals ac. Now I know my value of, of x, which is 9. 8 times 9 is 72, minus 12 is 60. And there you go. That was how you do number 3. Okay. All right. Oh, what am I doing? I'm going to do number 11 now, and then I will finish up with number 9. Okay, 
Hello. Hello. OK, number 11, um, Onse. So here we have j, negative 6, 3, k, 0, 6, l, 2, comma 2, and m, negative 4, negative 1. OK, so you guys need to know how to do your homework, right? What we call that. So 